I want to test a couple of tubes, spare tubes for that Philco 112. And this tester here does not have the 24. Here, I'll roll this around so maybe you can see the 24A on this. And this is a 27. I found the mark, but it's very, very light, hard to read. But it does say Philco down here. So this is a new Philco tube. So this roller doesn't have 27 either. Well, I had two of these. I had an earlier model. And I gave it to a friend, but before I did that, I wrote down every difference between the roll that was on the early model and this one. And I put it into this book here. For instance, I have lots of uh, tubes that use Alt 1A. I would like to be able to test those. That is not on this roller. So I went through both rollers very carefully checking and as you can see there was quite a few. Now a YouTuber had asked me it'd be nice if I had a list that uh, other people could download. Well, I had done that, but I'm not sure if I told anybody about it. Sometimes I can get real busy. So if you have this series, 954G, and you have this tester, or you know somebody who has this tester, please tell them about this because you can go to my YouTube site. I made this into a PDF file, like I said, and you can download it. Here is my YouTube site. And for that download, all you have to do is go to the About, which is right over here. And here are a few links. We got my free ebook over here. But the one for this video is this Precision Tube Supplement List. Now all I have to do is click on it. And this will take just a little while to load. There we go. And as you can see, here is the tube tester. And as you scroll down, everything's in order. And there's all the tube listings that are from the earlier tube tester that I had. So I hope some of you out there will take advantage of this. I use this all the time because I have 1920s radios uh, mostly that I collect. So this is very, very useful. And as you know, here is the download right over here. So you can just keep a copy of it. Okay. The first tube I want to test is that 24. So let's go through here. And 25, 24, there it is. It says A, which is over here. A needs to be 7. Okay, that's on 7. Then 3, it's on 3. And then 31. And there's 30, 31. And then D, just this one, is 11. Okay, so got that on 11. 
Let me put this on filament so the tubes inside this can start warming up. 11 and then 1 and 1. Okay, this is on 1, E is on 1, F is on 1. And we push BC. Okay. So here's the 24. Roll this around. Hopefully you can see that 24. And this is what the pins look like. And that socket is right over here. So we're going to plug that in and watch this indicator here. You see it lit up. Okay, that means the filament's good. Now, I've got one more connection. I need to put the grid cap on this. So, here we go. And it says to push BC. Okay, now line went a little bit below center here. We'll watch that while we're waiting for the filament to heat up here. And it's still a little bit down. There we go. I think that's pretty well centered. And I can see the filament's lit. Should be warmed up by now. So we'll hit read. And it shows good. Excellent. Okay, so I'll hit filament continuity again. That turns off the filament voltage to the tube. Okay, and unplug this tube. So it's safe to unplug now. So here's the 27, same tube configuration. Okay, but no grid cap on this. Alrighty. So this needs to be, let's see here, 27, a 3, and a 3. Okay. And then a 17, and then another 17, and 1 and 1, which is right here, 1 and 1. So let me double check here. 1, 1, 17, 17, 3, and 3. Okay, so now we push B here. Again, the filament's going to start heating up. Yeah, I can see that it's glowing. I'm going to give it a little bit of time so the cathode is heated up all the way. Yeah, I can be beginning to see the cathode glow. So, let's see here. Yeah, the, the meter is in the center. So now all I have to do is hit read. Okay, we have another good tube. So we got another good spare for that Philco 112. Hit film at continuity. Now it's safe to unplug the tube. And we're done. Thanks for watching.